everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm Roberta Blair. I'm back again with my series where you get to watch a live performance from one of my concerts and then after the music I'm going to tell you a little bit about the pieces. This one is my trio Axolot playing something very special. It's two pieces by Bach, the one and only Bach. And here we play um, his trio in D minor which was originally for organ. And then we go into his fugue, the Contrapunctus 16, which was from the Art of Fugue. Ooh, I hope you enjoy them.
trio Axelot performing a lovely bit of Bach. The first piece we played, the trio in D minor, is actually originally for organ. So you have to imagine me on the bass, I am doing what the organist's feet would be doing, and Jose and Dodo are each one of the hands. And I find this so incredible. I mean, in that piece, I'm really playing and pff, I think to be an organist, you must have to be some kind of genius gymnast. So we arranged that basically by getting the organ music and it fit pretty nicely on recorders, to be honest. Sometimes we had to put some things up or down the octave, um, but it really worked. The second piece, the Contrapunctus, we actually have an arrangement for three recorders. I think it's also just open source. Um, this piece is a bit more of an interesting one. It's from the Art of Fugue, and I found a lot of kind of random and almost conflicting information that this Art of Fugue was a set of fugues for unspecified instruments, but it was actually unfinished. And I found this one with different names. Um, some sources say it's three voices and some four. To be honest, I got in a bit of a knot with this piece in terms of researching its history. So if you can help me out, that would be greatly appreciated. But aside from all that, a fugue is a piece with multiple voices and it's kind of got a main theme. One of the voices introduces it. Dum, 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 da, 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 dum. And a second voice comes in with the same. Dum, 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 da, da, da. And the third voice later comes in with the same and they all keep developing it and weaving it around each other. So, oh yeah, that's a fugue. I wonder if you could hear the voices that kept coming back. Dum, 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 da, 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 dum. I love playing Bach because at some point in the piece he always reaches some kind of crazy harmony and comes up with these chords that you would never expect and it's just like, Again, we're playing this piece on our Peter von the Pool Renaissance consort. I know that that's not really authentic. We were playing Baroque music on Renaissance instruments, but again, we made the artistic choice. We like the kind of unity that this sound gives to have these instruments all made from the same tree, literally. Have you played either of these pieces? I would love to hear from you. There's some really nice and some really random recordings on YouTube, saxophone quartets, all kinds of instruments. As always, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face down here in the corner. Up here is a link to Team Recorder Patreon where you can choose to support the channel. And over here is a link to my top five Baroque pieces. Cause I'm feeling in the Baroque mood. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.